Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I have some news for all you Kepler fans. By now, I'm sure we've all heard about Kepler's possible disbandment date, and whether we like it or not, that day will be here really soon. Here's what you need to know. According to a Naver article published on January 12, 2024, we have some huge news. Kepler activity extension contract renewal discussions continue. Remaining period is six months. Six months? What? Excuse me? I mean, we all knew that Kepler was a temporary group, but it's still extremely surprising to me. So the possible disbandment date is July 3rd, 2024. That's in six months, as we know, and it's still mind-blowing. Wow. Just wow. I can't believe this. When I woke up and saw the news on TikTok, I freaked out. However, the article also said, according to coverage on the 12th, Wake One's agency has not given up on renewing Kepler's contract to extend their activities and is continuing to do so. That's at least some good news we get to hear. And it says here, we did our best to reach an agreement with all agencies, but there was no coordination. Interesting. These agencies that they're talking about are referring to the agencies that Kepler members are involved with. For example, Mashiro and Yeso belong to 143 Entertainment. Talking about 143 Entertainment, their group Limelight announced that it has plans to end its three-member structure, which consists of members Miu, Soya, and Gayan, and enter a period of group reorganization, which basically means they may add more members to this K-pop group. And since Mashiro and Yeso are under that agency, we most likely know where they will go after disbandment, to Limelight. But keep in mind that Wake One is still making negotiations. This isn't a final decision as yet. Now, on to our next topic. How are Kepler fans, also known as Keplians, reacting to this news? Well, let me tell you, in many, many different ways. Can Wake One just disband instead of Kepler? I know many Keplians who think this way, and I think it's reasonable. Kepler doesn't disband until all members had at least once blonde hair. Xiao Ting, we're waiting. Kepler can't disband, they haven't even had an official concert yet. They haven't had a win since Up Era, please, no. That's literally me in the video as Cassie right now. <laughs> Zero Base won World Tour in the first year of promotions and Kepler doesn't even have a full album yet and they disband in 6 months. Thank you 143 Entertainment for not agreeing to Kepler's contract extension. Kepler is scheduled to officially disband on July 3rd, 2024. I think that's a solo stand. K-pop will never get this well all rounded group like Kepler ever again, but y'all losers will start to appreciate it the moment they disband. Kepler better at least disband with a full album with fun and slayful music. No sappy stuff. I don't even stand Kepler that much, but I don't want them to disband. See even non-stands expressing their disappointment. So can y'all actually start voting for Kepler now, because this will literally be the last chance we have to give them an award before they disband. Hashtag Keplians focus on HMA. Free them. Literally just that. <laughs> I still can't believe that officially in less than 6 months Kepler is going to disband. I feel very happy to have been there since the beginning. I'm so proud of them. Girls, you have done a great job. Kepler may not be permanent, but Keplian will be here forever. I love that. Anyways, let me know how you guys feel about this news in the comments. If you liked this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already. I feel a bit of sadness but also a bit of hopefulness that they can go to a better company that won't mistreat them. Anyways, catch your eye, catch your mind, and bye bye!